The bicycle is the most elegant and beautiful machine ever designed. A bicycle gives us freedom and independence, a truth so universal it's sadly cliché. In an age when supersonic air travel has shrunk the world, bicycles make the world big again and rekindle in us a sense of adventure and discovery. Learning to ride a bike in our youth is an achievement second only to learning to walk. And once mastered, riding a bike is such a wonderful experience that our bodies simply won't ever allow us to forget how. The 2013 UN World Happiness Report found that the five happiest countries are bicycle-friendly nations where people choose to ride bicycles. And so today I want to talk about why bicycles will save the human race. There are obvious arguments to be made about the bicycle being sustainable without dependence on fossil fuel and how they don't contribute to the catastrophic rise in global warming. And long after the last drop of Long after the last drop of oil is sucked from the sand and cars become roadside relics, bicycles will continue to move people and their things in elegant ways. One could argue also that bicycles take us to beautiful places and in doing so show us what we stand to lose with our environmental carelessness. But it's not the planet that needs to be saved simply our place on it. I'd like to offer a different perspective and suggest that bicycles will save us because they invite us to tinker. And when we tinker, we develop a mindset that seeks to make things better. Let me ask you a question. How many of you know how to work an iPad or an iPhone? Okay. How many of you know how an iPad or an iPhone works underneath the shine of that glass? It's pretty much the same with all of our modern conveniences that are highly complex and for many of us intimidating because their inner workings are hidden. But what if I asked you the same questions about a bicycle? How many of you know how to work a bicycle to ride one? And how many of you know how a bicycle works? Given a moment, we all see that when we turn the cranks with our feet, we begin a chain reaction, literally. A large cog pulls the chain, which turns a smaller cog, which rotates a wheel, and off we go. It's enchantingly simple. The bicycle is a rare machine in that its innermost workings are in plain sight. And because of this, they invite us to tinker. This transparency makes bicycles approachable, and it's this approachability that makes us want to play with them. The tinkering starts simply at first. We spin the pedals backwards to hear the freewheel whir, or we squeeze the brake lever to watch our brakes grab the rims. But eventually it evolves. Because once we start tinkering, we can't stop. And when we encourage children to tinker, to tweak, and to improve things, we offer them an opportunity to develop self-efficacy, the feeling of being a creator, a producer, and not merely just a consumer. We provide them confidence as makers and as fixers. And we offer them the chance to expand beyond their role as tinkerers of bicycles to tinkerers of things, to maintain things, to restore things, and to improve things. When we teach a child to ride a bike, we give them freedom 
adventure and joy. When we teach a child to care for and fix a bike, we unlock their potential as tinkerers, and they look at the world as a place that they can make better, that they can fix, and they can improve. So this is my challenge to you. Whoops. Think globally, ride locally, and tinker habitually. Thank you.